Not gonna upgrade weapons and search, that's for damn sure. I don't have auxiliaries on this either, I just realized. Wallers. Such a bizarre sound, but for some reason it's good. It's a hundred and... Can you not pull back on me, bro? Is this just not happening? <laughs> don't... What just happened? Why did you just freeze? Why did you just freeze? Did you touch the butt and freeze, bro? Did the butt make you freeze, dog? What was that? Would you take a sniff and then die? What just happened there? What was that, bro? Bro, grip builds are like so much just like more like consistent. It's crazy. They're actually fun. I haven't ran this in so long. All right, let me let me let me finish this up. Let me let me finish strong here. I'm recording. One second. Don't need story. One second. Two seconds. Two minuscule seconds. Oh my god, I'm actually not doing that bad in the grip build for once. Although I don't feel like that was right, but it felt right, so I'm gonna do it anyway. I should have shifted up right there, I messed up, I couldn't hear over the sound of... Every time I burst in this game, it's so loud, like Jesus. I wish I could turn down all those effects, it's just like somebody spitting in my ear. Sub 210 is okay. 208, I'm happy with that. For a grip build, I'm happy with that because I can get like 205, 206 in drift build. But I actually want to do a grip build for this car because that feels so consistent. Like the consistency of this car is actually amazing. And I love it. Enjoy. Alrighty, guys. What up? Magic IQ here. And today I have a beautiful Polestar build for you guys. As you guys see, we have this beautiful Ruby Star color on it. I think this is starting to become one of my favorite colors. Ever. Um, if you guys would like to see my 340 IRL be wrapped in Ruby Star, let me know and I might be able to get that done. But without further ado, let's get straight into this beautiful Polestar build with this amazing wide body kit from Need for Speed Heat that they imported into this game. Now you can get a similar look achieved um, with the stock Polestar that comes in the game uh, by default without having to pay for it. And it's pretty close. It's just not as aggressive and not as wide. This car is actually huge with this kit on it. it it's a force to be reckoned with, honestly. Um, and this thing is very, very decent. I wanted to take advantage of one of the most unique features of this car being that it has both a turbocharger and a supercharger. So I left that induction and that motor there stock because I thought it'd be really cool to make a build with that. Let me know if you guys have been enjoying this volume four update and this customs pack as well. I think it was pretty nice. I don't regret my purchase, but uh, I just think it's a little messed up. They made us pay for it, but it's all good. You know, content's content content and at least we get to consume it one way or another without further ado let's get straight into this build so as previously discussed as of literally just right now we are still using that stock 599 brake horsepower 2 liter inline 4 hybrid and i think it might be the best motor for a plus honestly um, it gets the best numbers and it just really feels very decent not lacking in the top end or the low end section it's just kind of overall a very very good car it's also a grip build for you guys because you guys have been asking for those recently um, the power numbers on this build though are 801 horsepower, 899 foot pounds of torque, 11.4 quarter mile time, and a 0 to 60 of 3.5 seconds, and a top speed of 178, which it does reach. So this thing is rather a pretty decent midfield car. It's not that bad. It's not overpowered or meta or anything like that but it's a very competitive decent car that you can use and with driver skill can be very successful with the engine parts on this motor are a pro induction an elite ecu a pro fuel system a pro exhaust and the stock turbo and supercharger um it's basically a dual induction here it's kind of like uh on the hellcats they have the heli and twin turbo kit that goes under the supercharger i guess but in this car i believe it's also a hybrid as well so technically you have every single four of induction possible you have battery motor 
turbo and supercharger. It's pretty cool um, and rather unique. The sport nitrous bottle is what we're going to be utilizing there. Suspension is elite and it is also a road suspension. We have pro brakes as well, elite grip tires. A super clutch comes stock in this car, which makes shifting off the line very easy. You can get into third and just ride it all out with six speed gearbox, which is very, very nice. I really like the gear ratios on this box. It gets it done very, very well. We have an elite differential and we have literally no auxiliaries purchased for this car. But as you guys, I'm pretty sure know, nitrous grip and nitrous drift auxiliaries are going to be our go-to auxiliaries for any build in the game, period. Those are always going to be your best options. Now, for the handle, we are using 100% grip, obviously. Steering sensitivity is right in the middle. The car feels kind of perfect, honestly, and the downforce is all the way towards high. We have traction control off, and drift entry is gas or brake tap. I like to gas tap on the straightaways to keep the burst nos, and I like to brake tap into the corners. That's my personal preference. I hope you guys have enjoyed this amazing Polestar build. This color combo is just absolutely killer, and I can't wait to hopefully see it on my 340 IRL. Again, we are running a giveaway for the Crew Motor Fest as long as we hit 10,000 subscribers. And in order to be a part of that giveaway, I need you guys to subscribe to the channel. So honestly, it's gonna happen on launch day. So I will be live on the 12th for the Gold Edition uh, launch day, essentially, which is two days early. And anybody that's in that stream is gonna have the ability to be able to uh, access the giveaway. Um, also, you will earn double points if you're there within the first five to 10 minutes of the stream. Stream, you will be getting double entries into that giveaway which will happen at about the one hour to two hour mark about when we peak at that time hopefully that's the goal and it gives people enough time to get there or figure out a way to get a little break from work or something like that to possibly enter the giveaway so i appreciate you guys for tuning in to yet another need for speed unbound build video and i'll see you guys in the next one it's been magic iq and i'm out peace